Hi, this is Caleb with App Design Tips, and in this video I'm going to show you how you can export your assets within Adobe XD. We are at the very final stage where we want to pass off our design to developers so they can begin developing. And so now that we have our design and our prototype all done, the last thing that we want to do is export these assets so the developers can use these in the development process. So we have a number of icons and a few logos, some images and things that'll be nice for them to use. And so what we can actually do is click on any of the elements that we want. And remember, we also want these icons, but I don't want to export these as a group, so I'm going to ungroup this. And I'm just going to pick this star. And one thing that's important too is to make sure that these are named correctly. So I already have this named as star and then I'm going to name this one here star hyphen unfilled and that's the background gray star here and then I'm going to name this one star hyphen half this is just star make sure that these are named correctly I'm just going to name this menu search and cart. Okay, now I can hold down shift and select all of these. So now that I have these assets selected, I can click on file and export. And I know I want to export these for iOS and what that does is it exports these designs at 1x, 2x, and 3x. So there's going to be three different file sizes that you can give to your developers and they can choose what size to use based off of what device is previewing it. So now I can just jump into learning files and I'll just export these in assets and I'll just rename a new folder developer assets. So here's my folder for developer assets and depending on what your developer wants sometimes they will ask for a PNG or to make the file sizes smaller and to retain the quality of the vector, we could actually export these as SVG. And so now it's not going to save the different sizes because it's just the SVG that we can export. So we can try that here. I'll just click export. And now if we open up this file, we can see each of our items and this cart, the menu, and the search is white. It's because it's in a white background that you can't see it. But if you open this up, it's going to display the same. For example, I can drop this here and you can see that it's in fact a white search icon. Now there are a few other graphics we want to export. I'll name this Gen X logo. And I will name this product image. So if we want to export these images out, I can select these now. One, two, three. So we have these selected here. Now I can click on File, Export again. Now instead of SVG, I'm going to save this as a PNG here. And I'm going to save this for iOS, so it's going to save three different file types. And when I click Export, I can show you what that looks like. So if I resize this here, you can see we have genxlogo.png, genxlogo at 2x, and at 3x. And so actually if I hit the spacebar here, you can see that this one's a bit smaller. If I click on the 2x, it gets larger, and 3x is even larger than that. Now you can see that they have this full image and they can use that and crop it how they want. And through CSS, they can apply that background blur.